I started getting involved in activism at Columbia in uh, the fall of 1963 when I joined the Columbia chapter of the Congress of Racial Equality. I then became involved in the movement against the Vietnam War. And this was the first time uh, that you had the black student organization and the major anti-war organization organizing a, a joint protest. That the Columbia form took the form of an occupation of five buildings that ended up lasting for seven days before the police were brought in to clear it out When we were in those buildings for seven days, people from all over the country, as well as around the city, Tom Hayden came, H. Rapp Brown, Stokely Carmichael, the Grateful Dead played at the Columbia strike. This captured the imagination of people all over the country who started imitating it. And it looks like the same thing happened with the occupation at Columbia. It triggered occupations all over the place. We are trying to build on history. We are trying to build on what we learned from 1968. Columbia has actually, as an institution, albeit reluctantly claimed the legacy of the 68 protests. For the 40th anniversary, it was officially sponsored by the Columbia president. They like the theory of disruptive protest, but not in an actuality, because we do, again, learn this in several of our classes, some of which being required at this university, um, but are not able to take that theory. What we've been told is, right and just and actually apply it. The university has put an emphasis on it and because of that the students have internalized that, realized that because of that we have not only like the privilege but the responsibility to continue in the shoes of those who came before us, not necessarily all using the same tactics, um, but ensuring that we're able to maintain the integrity of this university is one that is indeed socially aware, one that does have students that do care deeply about what goes on in the world, what goes on in our communities, and what goes on in the lives of the students that make up our community. I think that the university is essentially telling its students that we should learn about the movements of the past, but we shouldn't learn from them. We shouldn't extract anything actionable from our education, but I do think that like, that's what education is for, right? It's to frame the way that you look at the world. It's to allow you to move through the world and act in accordance with morals and values that match the education that you've gotten thus far. And so I think that the idea that students will learn about these things and not extract anything from them is an incredibly naive point of view.